We're going to take you back to uh, Criselda Lewis uh, just to give us the latest in terms of what is happening, developments uh, outside the house of the speaker, former speaker now, Nosi Mapisa Ngakula. Criselda Lewis is at her house here in Johannesburg. We did say we've got uh, Sam Kele Maseko, who's also strategically placed at a police station, and uh, Kenny Mapanga outside a court because we are anticipating that there will be further movement this morning. But let's go to Criselda, who's outside the home of the former speaker. Uh, Criselda, good morning. So any further development since we last spoke? Well, Sakina, uh, certainly looks so, uh, because just a few moments before you crossed uh, live to us, uh, there had been some activity coming from outside this gate uh, here behind me. You'd recall when we spoke at six o'clock, I did indicate that there were some men uh, who were carrying briefcases and also wearing black suits who'd been taken inside the house. We'll just show you those visuals, uh, which we sent uh, to your executive producer just a few moments ago. Uh, the visuals that you will see on your screen in just a few moments uh, are, are visuals of uh, that vehicle that had arrived here at the home of the former Speaker of the National Assembly, Nosivuwe Mapisangakula, just shortly after five o'clock uh, this morning. It has now since left, but we also spotted a vehicle which uh, we saw uh, some of the police officers who are on guard at the house here behind me uh, walk behind that vehicle. When I stretched to look in, it certainly did seem like there was a woman uh, or a female sitting at the back of that vehicle. Some 10 minutes ago, I would say, that's when that vehicle vehicle uh, left uh, these premises of uh, the former Speaker of uh, the National Assembly, Nosi Vuyama Pisangakola. All of this unfolding, of course, overnight speculation, as I'd earlier indicated, that over the past few days she would uh, hand herself over to authorities. Uh, of course, uh, on the backdrop of uh, what had come out of uh, the High Corp Court, losing uh, that bid in Pretoria uh, to interdict her arrest. So uh, much of the speculation following that resignation as the Speaker uh, late yesterday and as a Member of Parliament, speculation had been rife overnight uh, that she would be handing herself over to authorities this morning. So that's the activity that we saw just a few moments ago. I'm unable to see what is on the screen, but I'm sure you'd be able to see there's a vehicle, a black vehicle that will be on your screen together with a maroonish looking uh, coloured vehicle. So the, the maroon uh, vehicle was the one that had uh, those individuals who were wearing black suits who had gone inside the house shortly after five o'clock this morning and the vehicle uh, which uh, then uh, uh, follows or is before that uh, seems to be uh, uh, there's two individuals in front and at the back seems to be someone uh, from what I could see uh, was a female who was at the back of uh, that uh, particular uh, uh, SUV. So that's the information that we have at this particular stage but as you correctly pointed out I'm not the only reporter who is at uh, various locations today. Certainly I mean this was the country's chief lawmaker as I indicated, Sakina. So uh, many people certainly also monitoring some of the international media. I think it was the New York Times as well as the BBC overnight running with this particular story. A lot of interest to it and quite interestingly from a lot of uh, the uh, reaction that we saw late into yesterday evening uh, following the resignation of uh, uh, the National Assembly Speaker Nosivue Mapisa Ngagula uh, welcoming it to the ANC confirming that indeed it received that resignation. It's landed on uh, the uh, uh, the table of uh, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, who is Figile Mbalula, the Democratic Alliance, saying that, of course, uh, she should have resigned a long time ago. You would know that uh, the DA had been taking steps to have this matter brought before Parliament. And, uh, of course, the UDM, as well, amongst the political parties, there's just some of them, of course, welcoming uh, uh, her resignation, saying that uh, uh, this is the correct move to preserve the integrity of Parliament. That is certainly uh, the words that were also used uh, by the uh, former National Assembly Speaker Nosif Mapisangakula in that resignation statement uh, that we saw uh, yesterday. So certainly uh, for the rest of this morning uh, we have got our colleagues uh, Samkele Maseko as well as Kani Mapanga who were stationed one at the police station and one uh, uh, at the courthouse as well as the speculation remains rife this morning that she will be handing herself over to authorities. We'll certainly have you covered here on the SABC News Channel. 
Indeed, Criselda, thanks so much for that latest update. And Criselda Lewis is in Bruma, east of Johannesburg, outside the home of the now former Speaker of the National Assembly, Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula, who tendered her resignation as National Assembly Speaker and a Parliament, a Member of Parliament yesterday.